Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome to another Chaos the Clarity episode here with your girl Khadija Baines. And you know, you already know what it is. <laughs> number one clarity queen, number one brand strategist. And tonight I wanted to share a very interesting topic. Now I know I'm going on much later than what I typically do, but um, it's been one of those days where you've kind of just been like getting a lot of things accomplished throughout the day and you just lose track of time. But today's topic, I just really wanted to take the moment and stop what I was doing and just speak with you guys and really connect with you on a deep level. So tonight's topic is about why instant gratification will make you bankrupt, okay? This is a very important, sensitive topic. So if you're someone right now, maybe that's kind of struggling financially and just needs a little clarity on your structure, pretty much like how you're running your business. Maybe it's your personal finances. Maybe right now you're currently not financially free or maybe you're financially struggling with um, actually just kind of making the ends meet. Or maybe you're someone that's just is trying to make it. Maybe you're just living paycheck to paycheck, whether that's in your business or whether that's actually um, with a typical nine to five. And you just need some clarity. You need some structure. So if that sounds like you, if 2019 you want to take your finances to a different level, if 2019 you want to take your perception and your outlook on what you really want out of life, then definitely continue to watch this video all the way until the end because I'm going to help you understand why, yes, why instant gratification will completely make you bankrupt. And if you're not sure exactly what instant gratification is, this might be a new language that you're just getting introduced to. So don't worry, you're not alone. This is something that I'm gonna show you guys in detail on what instant gratification is and how it is actually impacting your business, your relationships, and most importantly, your bank account. So let me go ahead and just share this with you guys. So instant gratification, what exactly is it? Instant gratification is basically when you want something now, right? You want the fast food now. If you want to eat, guess what? You pull up to McDonald's and you go get yourself a, a whole meal. You don't got to worry about cooking the fries. You don't worry about got to worry about cooking the burger. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff because guess what? You can get it instantly. If you want to watch television, you don't have to worry about going to the movies or waiting to, you know, wait in line to see the film or see the play. No, only thing you have to do is grab your remote and you don't even have to like wait for the commercials anymore. You can just fast forward through and you get what you want instantly. If you want to get to a destination, do you think that you have to go catch a train or catch a bus? No, with instant gratification, you're able to get to your destinations instantly by just getting into your vehicle. So hey, Renard, how's it going? And tonight we're going to really explain to you in detail why instant gratification will make you bankrupt in your finances. And if 2019 is your year, like we've all been talking about this since like the beginning of the year. 2019 is my year. Oh, in 2019, I'm going to find the love of my life. In 2019, I'm going to take my business to the next level. In 2019, oh, guess what? I'm not going to be living paycheck to paycheck no more. I'm going to be free. I'm going to have money in the bank, money in the bank. Like, I'm pretty sure all of you have felt this way when the year first started. You know, we're still in January, and you probably had all of these goals set up, right? You probably had all of these expectations that you said you were going to live up to. And guess what? It's still possible for you to actually achieve those goals. But the first thing you must do is understand that instant gratification will, yes, it will, destroy you. And when you have instant gratification of having things done right then and there and not having to wait barely an ounce of a second for you actually attaining the goal that you want or attaining the tangible thing that you want, then guess what? It starts to condition your mind, okay? Consistency is the mother of skill, okay? Tony Robbins says this. Consistency is the mother of skill. So anything that you do on a consistent basis is going to start to hardwire your mind, and it's going to start to become a habit. And once a habit is something that's conditioned over and over and over again, it starts to actually turn into a personality trait. So now 
being hardwired to guess what? Instant gratification. Now it's a part of you. Now this is actually a part of your identity. So when you actually start to have this mindset be conditioned when it comes to your lifestyle and how you actually handle your finances or how you actually handle your viewpoint on life and your expectations, this is when it can become a problem. There's nothing wrong with actually wanting things right away. But when it starts to be the norm and the expectation for every aspect of your life, especially in your business and in your relationships and in your personal life with your family, and when it comes to your money, things that are going to actually impact the quality of your life, that's when it's time to be addressed. That's when it's time to notice whether or not if this, if, is this a healthy relationship or is this an unhealthy relationship that I have when it comes to gratification. So how can you make the shift? How can you shift from being conditioned to instant gratification all the time to actually now conditioning your mindset to have patience and to actually humble yourself enough to allow yourself to have the patience that you need in order to make the right practical decisions that are going to take your relationships to the next level? That's going to take your finances and your business to the next level. And that most importantly, is just going to take you as an individual to the next level. So how do you make that shift? It's a very, very simple thing you have to do. Very simple. I like to keep things very simple when it comes to the Chaos to Clarity episodes. Because here's the thing. Um, simplicity is key. When you make things simple, it makes it actually realistic for you. It makes, this make, it makes you actually feel like you can actually get it accomplished. When you make things complicated, when you add chaos to it, it seems like it's impossible. It seems like the thing that you want to get accomplished is bigger than you. So what you always want to do is you want to shrink the problem. You want to shrink the situation. So you do that by making it very simple. This is what you can do to stop having instant gratification when it comes to your finances. You only have to make a definite decision. That's it. Make a definite decision. And what is a definite decision? You're probably wondering what that is. That is you making a concrete decision that today, right now, in this moment, I'm going to actually make sure that everything I do when it comes to making decisions, whether that's in my finances, whether that's in my personal happiness, you know, me doing things that makes me happy, whether that's in my relationships, me making sure that I put my relationships first instead of, you know, allowing different obstacles to stress me out, whether that's just, you know, with anything, you focusing on your goals and actually learning how to attain it. If you make a definite decision on what it is that you truly want and what it is that you want to stop doing or what it is you want to pick up, then guess what? You will be able to do that. You will definitely be able to accomplish anything that you set your mind to because at this point you made a definite decision. There is no way that you're going to allow any obstacle to stir you in different directions. It doesn't matter how hard things get. It doesn't matter what, what um, distractions come your way. When you make a definite decision, you made a promise to yourself that you are going to stick to this no matter what. And that's all you have to do when it comes to how to shift a bad habit, whether that's with instant gratification or whether that's even with like if you want to quit smoking. Let's say you want to quit smoking. All you have to do is make a decision and stick to it no matter what. Have your integrity. You know, make sure you have integrity when it comes to the decisions that you're actually making. You know, making a promise to yourself that you're going to stick it out no matter what. So you can stop any type of habit that you want to stop. And you can pick up any great habit to replace it. So kind of just to explain that part, like we never can technically change, just so you know. No one changes. We only transform who we are. Okay, that's going to be a whole nother video I'm going to have to do for you guys. But we don't change. We just like replace our bad habits with good ones. So that's why some people kind of shift back into old habits and old way of thinking. That's because they pretty much never replace the bad habit with something good. So if I want to stop smoking, which I don't smoke, but let's say I had a bad habit and I wanted to stop doing that, 
I need to replace that with something else. So instead of like me smoking and to relieve stress, I could start exercising. So let's say that's something you wanted to do. If you were smoking and you have a smoking habit, guess what? All you have to do is start exercising to replace that. So don't just try to cut things cold turkey. Replace it with something to fill that gap. Same thing if you have been, I don't know, let's say if you have issues with overeating or let's say you have issues with dietary, you can go ahead and instead of eating a bunch of chocolates and cakes and stuff, you can replace it with something healthy, maybe a nice fruit, something that's still kind of sweet. Um, but at the same time, you know, you're still getting that, you're still getting that flavor, but it's not as unhealthy. You see what I'm getting? Like it's still beneficial to you. So it's not about just cutting something cold turkey. When it comes to instant gratification, you just have to shift what it is that you're actually focusing on and actually make it something that's going to enhance your quality of life and not diminish it. Like, we are all about growth. We are all about developing. We are all about becoming the best version of ourselves, right? So what you want to do is you just want to make sure that everything that you are doing is like with like absolute clear purpose. Everything you are doing should have purpose and should have clear purpose at that. Meaning, it's connecting you to your ultimate vision. Like, where do you want to be in life? Like, what type of person do you want to become? What type of people do you want to have in your life? What type of wealth do you want to pass down to your children? What type of legacy do you want to leave here on this earth? When people think of Anna, when people think of Renard, what are they going to think of when you're no longer here? You know, Jeff Bezos said this about branding. He said this, your brand, which is like ourselves, because you are your brand, just so you know, your brand is only as strong as this. It's not about what people say when you're in the room. It's about what do people say when you leave the room. And whether you realize it or not, every single day, day in and day out, you are branding yourself. Every single moment of the day, whether it's the words that you're saying out your mouth, whether it's the habits that you're possessing on a daily basis, whether it's the type of class of individuals that you are hanging around, you are consistently branding yourself every single moment of the day. The question is, who are you? And who are you making known? What type of person are you that you're making known to the public? When people think of your name, what is it that they, what is the first thing they think of? Do they think of financially irresponsible? Do they think of positive and uplifting? Do they think of inspirational? Do they think of negative? Like, do they think of, I don't know, anything? What is it that you think that people say about you that you're projecting out to them? And it's not to say you have to worry about what people are saying, but you want to know what type of energy you're sending out. Like, it's just about being self-aware. It's not about being self-conscious. It's about becoming self-aware. So when you become self-aware of what it is that you're representing, whether that's for your brand, whether that's for your business, whether that's for your own self-development and your growth, who are you truly representing? Who are you truly representing? And when, and when you leave this earth, what is the legacy that you're going to leave? What are people going to say about you when they're at your funeral? You know, God forbid, you know, let me knock on wood, God forbid. But it's the saddest thing when people can only talk about your cooking. It's the saddest thing when you've lived an entire, you know, 70 year old life and people can only talk about how you, I don't know, how you had the best stories that you told. Like, don't you want to be known for something powerful, for something impactful, for something that really changed and transitioned the lives of others, for something that really made a difference in your family's life, in your community's life, in the world's life? Don't you want to be known for something like that? Don't you want to have a legacy? So the little habits connect to the big habits. Start with the little habits first. You don't have to start with the huge habits. You know what I mean? This habit instant gratification, making it so that 
you have the patience, you know what I mean? Not expecting everything so fast, 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 24 seven, when it comes to the journey, when it comes to your finances, actually having a fiscal plan, actually having a strategy, whereas though you're putting at least 10% of your income in a separate account so that your wealth can actually grow for you, actually understanding that investing is something that everyone should start doing as early as possible, actually understanding that if you want financial freedom, you probably need to have at least seven streams of income. You need to have seven streams where income is coming in either residually or passively. Do you understand the different levels? Simple things. See, those, are, those things might seem like a lot right now, but guess what? That's why you start with the simple things like instant gratification. Break the habit of always wanting things now, 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 now. Because the best things take time. It takes time for a flower to grow. You're a flower. It takes time. You're planting the seed right now. Right now, you're planting the seed. Guess what? Everyone has their season. Don't think just because it's winter time. Don't think that, you're, that your flower is not going to grow. It's right now, it's just, it's just being harvested. It's just sitting right now. It's letting this, it's soaking in the soil. You know, everything's working out. But when spring comes, when spring comes, guess what? You're going to flourish. And this is a good example. You know, let's talk about the trees in the fall. Guess what? Just because in the fall time, the leaves fall off the trees, that doesn't mean that the tree still isn't healthy. That doesn't mean that the tree still isn't going to stay there for a lifetime or not a lifetime, but it's not going to stay there for like a good amount of time and nourish its environment around it. That doesn't mean that at all. It just means that it wasn't that tree season to bloom. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes it's just not your season to bloom yet. You have to wait for when it's your season, but that doesn't mean that you're going to stop watering your plant. That doesn't mean that you're going to just neglect the environment that the plant is surrounded around. Like, no, you're still going to nourish everything around you. You're still going to want to make sure you're watering your plant, but understanding when it's your time to bloom is important, but that takes patience. It takes actual patience to know when is it your season. And then when you have programmed your mind to instant gratification, you're not going to allow it to happen. So I hope you got some value from this video. And I just want to let you guys know that I so appreciate all of you guys for tuning in to the Chaos to Clarity episode here with your girl, Khadijah Baines, <laughs> number one brand strategist, number one clarity queen. And, um, you know, if there's anything that I can do to better serve you guys, please let me know. If you have any topics that you want me to talk about, um, you know, talking about clarity, please let me know because that is the number one thing that I focus on. That is the number one um, skill that I have mastered and I'm continuing to master. I'm a, still a student of it, but at the same time, like we're all still students. So let me know if there's anything that you guys want me to cover. And I always go ahead and invite you to like and share this video and share this out to someone who's constantly has programmed their mind to instant gratification. If you have a friend or if you have a relative who always wants it right now, right then and there, and they just, it's just become a part of who they are. They lack patience. If you know someone like that, that needs to see this video, who needs to understand the power that instant gratification is having over them and pretty much how they can shift their mindset from out of that way so that they can start to have uh, pretty much more money in their bank account so that they can start to have the best family life that they've ever could like possibly imagine so that they can start to have better relationships with the people that they truly love and so that their business can actually grow and thrive in a timely measurable matter okay like if you really want those things for someone that you care about I invite you to like and share this video okay so thanks for joining another episode and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow see ya